Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raider Sport, the number one Raider show on the internet. Today's show, I got news and rumors for you. Six of them, if you can count. And I'm starting the show off with a little news around the Rams because we're hosting them for two joint practices. Now, this is going to happen on Wednesday, August 7th, and Thursday, August 8th at Silver and Black's training camp in Napa, California. The Raiders are going to host the Rams also in a preseason opener at the Coliseum at August 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about football. I want to talk about real football games. But, I mean, this is also just preseason. And I think it's always an interesting question because I can really find out who the people that are actual, like, diehards if you sit down and you watch preseason games much respect so i'm gonna ask everybody who's watching this show right now youtube facebook how many raiders preseason games will you watch zero one two three four if you comment five you're probably lying how many raiders preseason games will you watch this year all right let's keep the show moving here the raiders have the sixth worst odds to make the playoffs don't yell at me because I didn't come out with the odds, Bleacher Reports released their latest playoff odds. Now, the Raiders have the worst odds in the AFC West, but they also go on to say the reason why the odds are so low is because the Raiders have the hardest schedule in the NFL. And, I mean, they do. I mean, you go back and you look at this entire schedule of the Raiders, it's really, really difficult. But before I get into that schedule, here are the latest playoff odds via Bleacher Reports. So, again... Do not yell at me. The Chiefs have minus 350 odds to make the playoffs. The Chargers at minus 210. The Broncos at plus 425. Then the Raiders at plus 500 odds. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's kind of disrespectful in my opinion. I mean, sure, you would put the Chiefs. I'm not really surprised. The Chargers over the Raiders. But the Broncos? Nah. Nah. Raiders schedule. All right? So we said this is how difficult it is. So I want you to really think about this schedule. We got the Broncos. You got the Chiefs. Then at the Vikings, at the Colts. Week 5 versus the Bears. Sure, this is a home game, but it's in London. That's a lot of travel time. Week 6, we get a bye. And then at Green Bay, at the Texans, home against the Lions. So think about that. It's a long stretch being away from Oakland. Then in Week 10, we have the Chargers. Then we play the Bengals. And then at the Jets, and then at the Chiefs. Now we're finishing off the season with the Titans, the Jags, and then at the Chargers basically a home game, and then at the Denver Broncos. So the Raiders have the hardest schedule in the NFL. So how many wins is it going to take for them to make the playoffs? So we have minus or plus 500 odds to make the playoffs, which worse than AFC West, sixth worst in the NFL. So how many wins do you think the Raiders need to make the playoffs? I want you to comment below. And if you think the Raiders are going to make the playoffs, put your money where your mouth is. Go to our sponsor, MyBookie, chatsports.com slash Raiders. Use my promo code Go Raiders for 100% deposit bonus. You put down $100, you're going to get 100 for free. Math. You put down $300, you get 300 for free. Look at this at the Raiders board, teaching you math and giving you Raiders news and rumors. What more could you want? Oh, wait. Maybe free money. Shout out to my bookie for hooking us up with a pretty dope promo code. Let's keep the show moving. 17th best fans in the NFL. What? Wait. Did I read that right? Yeah, I did. So, according to Professor Michael Lewis of the Business School of Emory University, he provided a full report, luckily for us, breaking down the best and worst fans in the league. Now, he used three tools of evaluation, fan equity, social equity, and road equity. Equity. All right. Hashtag equity. So, Michael, you ranked the Raiders as the 17th best fans in the NFL. I am a little bit worried about that because you also rank the Cowboys as number one. Sure, the Cowboys have the most fans, but does that make you the best fan base? People are talking. So this is how it came out in terms of best fans in the NFL rankings just for the AFC West. He put the Broncos, they have the seventh best fans. The Raiders have the 17th, the Chargers at 26, and the Chiefs at 31. To be honest, I would probably put Chargers at dead last because there's like 12 Chargers fans in the entire world, and I think all 12 of them yelled at me over my one tweet that I put out like a month ago about the Chargers having a worse wide receiver court, which they do, than the Oakland Raiders. Here you go. Best fans in the NFL rankings. If you don't like it, I don't know what this Michael guy's Twitter handle is because I don't even know if he's a real person. So I'm upset that the Raiders are the 17th best fans in the NFL, so this is what I want. Let's show Michael wrong. Type Raider Nation for life in the comment section. So, I want you guys to blast this. I want you to put it on Twitter. I want you to put it on Instagram. I want you to type it in the comments below. Raider Nation for life. Let's show there is only one nation, and that's Raider Nation. 
Rumors, John Gruden. Okay, we're talking a little bit about Gruden. So Raiders Wire came out and said that the Raiders need to run more 12 personnel. For those of you that are like, what the heck is 12 personnel? It's it's two wide receivers, a running back, and then two tight, two tight ends. So Raiders Wire, they had a guy, I don't really know what his name is. He came out and he wrote an article that said that John Gruden needs to implement more 12 personnel this season because they ran at only 12% of their offensive snaps last year, and it was one of their better offensive schemes. Personally, I think this is crazy. I'm not a fan of Ludacris, but this is Ludacris. And, like, I know Darren Waller's got a lot of hype around him, but you're telling me you want to put Darren Waller and you want to put Luke Wilson. Let's say you, I understand you drafted Foster Moreau, but you want to put at least two of these guys on the field more often? I'm just kind of a little bit concerned about your thought process in that regard simply because the Raiders went out and they added all these other wide receivers. You go out, you add AB, you add Tyrell. The One of the reasons why the Raiders ran 12 personnel last year and it was successful is because they didn't really have any good wide receivers compared to what they have now. Now you have Hunter Renfro. Now you have, worst case scenario, Hunter Grant. Hunter Grant. Or Hunter Grant <laughs> Ryan Grant. And you're also adding players like Keon Hatcher who, I don't know, there's some good reports about him. Keelan Cole, like... Keith and Cole, I'm losing my mind. So, I don't want more tight ends out on the field. I'm getting pointed at by my producer. Yeah, thank you. Should the Raiders run more 12 personnel? I'm tight my head for no. I want the Raiders to not do that. I, I want the Raiders to maybe implement one tight end. You want to put three wide receivers out on the field? Yeah, I'm all for that. So, should the Raiders run more 12 personnel? I want to know from everybody watching. Why for yes or N for no? Let's go to our running back, Josh Jacobs. Because... He was interviewed by Matthew Barry. Matthew Barry posted a video on Twitter because he sat down with Jacobs and he talked about the upcoming year. So if you guys like fantasy football, Matthew Barry's really, really high on Josh Jacobs, ranked him as the 10th running back this year. So in that interview with Josh Jacobs, he's kind of like poking at him a little bit. He's like, hey, man, what can we expect from you? Josh has said Gruden is expecting him to have a big year and he's even flirted with the idea of him being offensive rookie of the year. But also, he interviewed Hunter Renfro, and Hunter Renfro straight up said that Josh, that John Gruden is predicting that Jacobs is the rookie of the year. That's exciting to me. That's a large, large workload then for our young running back who we drafted in the first round. So let's look at the rookie of the year winners the last five years. Saquon Barkley, running back. Alvin Kamara, running back. Dak Prescott, quarterback. Todd Gurley, running back. OBJ, wide receiver. Three out of the last four years, Rookie of the Year has been a running back. So I'm thinking four out of the next five years, running back, Josh Jacobs is going to win Rookie of the Year. I'll tell you that much. He's going to get my vote. I think he has the best chance to do it. I think he's going to get a pretty large workload. Sure, Kyler Murray is an interesting player. So that's exactly why I'm going to ask you this question. Who's going to win Rookie of the Year? You can be a homer or you can be logical. I'm all good. I think Josh Jacobs in terms of best chance, I would put Jacobs and then it's Kyler Murray for me. So I want you to comment below. Who's going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year? If you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, comment below. Sound good? You guys like it? Any other options you think out there? Tweet them at me. Hit me up on IG. Be like, hey, Mitch, you're disrespecting this guy. I want you to continue to you know, throw those in the comment section. So, also comment me if you want a shout-out. So, for those of you that are watching live, shout-out to you. But if you want me, or type me, if you want a shout-out. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm actually heading back to New Jersey. I'm going to visit my friend who's getting married. And if you definitely want to get a shout-out, this is what I want you to do. 100% guarantee shout-out on the next Raiders report that I do if you do this. I want you to hit up my friend Ryan who's getting married on Friday. It's at Caperoni3223. And I want you to DM him. You can either wish him good luck. Or tell him to beware, because my dude is getting married. So, all I want is for when we're sitting together, maybe a day or two from now, and he's getting all these DMs like, why the heck are these people DMing me? So, you want to get put on the show, DM my friend Ryan, wish him good luck, come up with a crazy story, I don't really care. I just wanted some, him to get some crazy DMs from Raider Nation. Last one on today's show, are the Raiders bringing back Marquette King? People are talking, because there was a report out there that he and Mark Davis were at the airport together, the Las Vegas airport. So he was released by the Raiders in 2018 because he wasn't really getting along with John Gruden. And then if you're a loyal watcher, you know that Marquette actually went back to John and was like, hey, man, I kind of want to be a Raider again. Take me back. Because then he signed with the Broncos, realized that Denver is a bunch of, you know, whatever. And then they cut him October 8th. Now he's a free agent. But here's the thing. You know, there's a report out there that he was at the airport with Mark Davis. 
I mean, so this is him. So I don't know who she is. JNL2. Shout out to you for taking these pictures. But uh, it looks like to me that Marquette King and Mark Davis are at the exact same airport at the exact same time. Now, you can go to this girl's IG. You can also see that these pictures are posted literally seconds apart. People are talking. Hey, all I'm saying is you put a picture. I'm putting Mark Davis on the screen for a reason. So, you know, it's getting serious, right? I mean, I try not to do that for everyone's sake who's watching. So, Marquette King, Mark Davis, they're at the airport at the same time. So, I'm going to ask everybody who's watching the show. Do you want the Raiders to sign Marquette King? Do you want to bring him back? Do you want to see all the dancing? you want to see all the antics? The dude could kick. He really could. So, type four for believe it, baby. Or type zero for tuck rule, tuck that. Do you want the Raiders to sign Marquette King? And if you want to know what I think, hit me up on IG or Twitter at MitchellRance365. Make sure you guys subscribe to the number one Raiders channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.